Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we began our assault on the human world and we discovered a little bit more about what exactly happened between uh, Mal and the superhero at the end of chapter 6. In this episode, we are going to be continuing our assault on the human world. And the first part of that will be Unsated Thirst. This does not appear to have any cutscenes associated with it, so let's go! We have our deaths here from the last episode. Magic range plus three. That means the range of their magic attacks will be extended by three tiles, obviously. Here we have more uh, Skella Dragons. The uh, game will be pulling these out in full force this time around. And if you are normal leveled and not doing a new game plus, you will want to start by going down this way. But since I have commander video, I am just going to take a shortcut here. Just start by uh, assaulting those guys, and Mal, you can go down this route. Die! Die! All right, that was that turn. <laughs> Let's do the Mach Plus Slice, which I guess I will show off just because. Honor Quotient, please do not interrupt the animation. That is very rude. Alright, so now that I've taken care of this, on my next turn I can just have Commander Video take out the entire wall of Geo Cubes. Uh, Matt will probably have a bit more difficulty dealing with these foes because he is going to need to throw a Geo Cube, probably. Retarded. Retarded. I still think those death monsters are saying retarded. <laughs> Unless they're saying, like, be gone or something, I I don't even know. It's kind of hard to tell with monster voices, really. I, yeah, I don't even know. Anyway, that's that, and we'll be able to make quick work of them now. Probably. The way I'm sitting right now is murder on my ankles, because I am sitting in the lotus position, because it is the only position where I actually have room to sit. <laughs> my room layout might need some work. Just saying. Boogie 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 boog. Yeah. The attacks in this game are pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright. That got finished up pretty quickly. There is not even a cutscene, so let us heal at the uh, nurse's office and continue onward. I want you guys to uh, pay special attention to this map. Uh, the first time through won't be all that interesting, but the second time through, I got something I want to show off. Oh, where is the human world? Are we there yet? It's too far away! Hey Mal, are you sure it's the humans and heroes that you're mad at? Huh? What do you mean? We looked inside your heart, but it didn't look like you hated humans and heroes as much as you say. She's right. In fact, your father inside your heart was blaming you, not the superhero. 
Are you doing all this because you secretly blame yourself for telling the superhero your father's weakness? Do you feel responsible? And now you're trying to lay your dad to rest with your own hands? That sounds about right, actually. You don't really hate humans or heroes, do you? You just regret your past. What? No! Humans and heroes are the focus of my hatred! And to pay back the superhero, I'm going to destroy his world. That's all I'm doing. I don't think that's quite right. What? If you really hate the superhero that much, it's only logical to directly face him and settle it. Huh. <sighs> Lady Beryl is right. Destroying the human world would just be taking your anger out on them. Or, do you not think you can beat the superhero who defeated your father, so you want to bully the humans? Ouch. That's just cheap. I never dreamed that you were such a petty honor student. What a disappointment. You're all wrong. I could defeat my dad, or even the superhero, right now, if I wanted. Then why do you need to take revenge on human bystanders? There's no meaning to it, whatsoever. There is meaning to it! If I destroy his home world, I'll deal heavy psychological damage to him! So you are being cheap. Shut up! My evil brain has never led me astray. I will destroy the human world. It's the most effective target. I will do it. I will annihilate them! All right, now that's over. We have warp panels here. So let's put some dudes on them, shall we? Don't mess you up. As proof of concept, I am going go. to uh, toss Mal onto this tile here. Remember that for later. Actually, you probably don't really need to remember that right now. <laughs> Let's just end our turn and see where we go. We go somewhere. These Vodianoids, they are... I believe we have seen War Slugs already, but... Uh, damage increased by 10% per target in an area attack. They are Magic-type monsters, so you kind of want to watch out for them. To whatever extent you are watching out for monsters. I do not need to watch out for monsters because I am awesome. I have Vasa Airgun. I also have levels numbering in the hundreds, so you know, that helps too. <laughs> This map really is not all that difficult, even on your first time through. Just watch out, don't keep your uh, guys together because of the, the war slugs have the mass attack ability that uh, boosts their attack power by 10% for every unit they hit with a single attack. That can get pretty nasty if you uh, have everybody clustered together. So just keep them spaced out a little bit and you will be fine. Let's finish this off and boom! We have more cutscenes. This is bad. Maybe I'm not so okay anymore. Just a bit longer. Mao's emotions are just a little confused by the sudden appearance of his dad's foe. If he can calm down and pull himself together, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, Almaz, what's wrong with your wrist? No, don't look at it! Show me! Huh? What is this patchy bluish green? Ugh. Oh, that's pretty gross. Uh, 
I guess you found out. Whatever that is, it looks terrible. Is that from your wound? Well, why didn't you say something before it got this bad? Well, I didn't want to cause any worry or anything, so... Fool! That doesn't mean you should keep quiet about something like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me see your arm. Okay. This complexion, <laughs> splendid. It's most likely a strong curse with immediate effects. <laughs> a curse? Who curses people these days? Well, I was pretty close when I said it was poison. Rest assured, as a responsible former class president, I'll take him to the nurse's office. It can't be cured at the nurse's office! Teacher, why can't it be cured? I saw Almaz acting a little strange, so I secretly looked into it. The bottom line? It's too bad. That curse is far too strong. That is no way to cure it. Well... What? Then... It's all my fault. <laughs> He's a useless servant anyway. Turn into a demon, get cursed, go ahead and die. It's all the same to me. Now on the bright side, if you die from the curse, I can dissect you. You'll finally be useful to me. Wow, you are kind of being an asshole, Mal. Just saying. Mal, even if you are an honor student, there are things that you should and shouldn't say. See, Beryl agrees with me. Also, these cars keep passing by my window. It's kind of distracting. He's gone. It's okay. This isn't a curse. It's just a sign that I'm turning into a demon. It's kind of a little late to be bluffing, Almaz. <laughs> Especially after Champloo just kind of explained everything. At this rate, there's not much hope in stopping it. I need to help Mal and get him to open up his heart. <gasps> Is that true? Yes. I would never lie to you, Princess. I don't have much time left. I can't rest now. Come on, let's go. And now I'm hearing birds. Hello, bird. To protect the princess, and for Mal, who's about to completely step off his path, I have to go, no matter what. That's the best I can do. You have good poise, Almaz. It looks as if you really are a hero. <laughs> Please, don't tease me, princess. But it's not too good to think too much on your own. What do you think friends are for? Princess. That's right, Hero. We're friends, right? I'm your friend, too. I am also your friend. You guys are just extras. Go away. This is about Beryl. Miss Beryl. Everyone. Don't worry, Almaz. I can easily open up one or two of Sir Mal's hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Sapphire, ever the violent princess. You mean, like, opening it with a drill or something? <laughs> if you can still joke around, you're fine. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm good at. But seriously, everyone, thank you. You're right, I have dependable friends. And another one of our friends is about to walk down the wrong path of his heart all alone. We have to teach him that he also has great friends, and that he's not alone. Yeah! Even though you were a fake, I see what made you a hero. Give me an autograph later. <laughs> Beryl has some pretty weird priorities. Almost. You are already a great hero at heart. Thank you, Princess. But I need to be one in title. Heh. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say that there, Almas. Almas. Well, covering up his incurable curse by blaming it on the demon transformation. No, actually, he did pretty poorly because you kind of already fully explained the curse by the time he thought to say that. What a great sacrificial spirit for his friends and loved ones. Splendid. I'm surprised they all believe him. Right then, the completion of this dish depends on your final touch. I shall watch until the end. 
Oh man, an Omake segment. Hey there, Almas. You're looking pretty cool. Orphan Girl Pauline. Dragons! Hey there, Salvatore. What are you doing in the background? What was that? That wasn't even anything. That was just weird. <laughs> Okay, well, that kind of went on a little longer than I expected. I forgot that cutscene happened then. So, uh, and we are going to uh, cover what is so special about Corpse Eaters in the next episode. I will see you all then. Bye bye